Etsy is the world's biggest platform for selling digital files. But what exactly should you sell? It can be frustrating and overwhelming to comb through thousands of listings on Etsy to figure out what products are in high demand but also have low competition. So in this video, I break down five more digital product ideas to sell on Etsy and I have real life examples so you can see exactly what you can sell. Now, if you're interested in the first five ideas, there's another video and the link to that video is at the end of this video. So here's another five digital product niches that work. Let's go. All right, let's jump into the first one here right away. The first one is blueprint designs. So I've gone into Etsy and I've typed in blueprint into the search idea. And you can see here there is different blueprint designs that come up. Now they're not SVG files, but I'm gonna to get to that in just a minute. You can see here this blueprinting FX company is selling a lot. And in fact, when they pretty much have all the top results. So when I see this one company dominating a niche, in my mind, I go, huh, there might be an opportunity here. So here's just an example of what this would look like. This is the Joe Lewis Arena. And I, I would encourage you, if you're going to do blueprint designs, you could do cars, you could do locations, that kind of thing. Just steer a weird away from things that are trademarked. So for example, this Joe Lewis Arena, there's no Detroit Red Wings logo on here. It doesn't mention the Detroit Red Wings and that's to me very smart. So this to me is not trademarked infringing because it's simply a blueprint of a building. And you know, maybe Joe Lewis Arena could lodge a complaint against it. But if you had a Detroit Red Wings, you know, uh, logo on there, that's certainly trademark infringing. So I like this a lot. I think this looks like a great design. However, there's no blueprint SVG. When you search for blueprint SVG, you don't get results like this. Here's another one. This is the, the actual company, Blueprinting FX. I go in here and I start looking at all the different types of blueprints that they offer. They have kids, dinosaurs, golf courses, football stadiums, subway art. They've got a lot of different stuff. So I'm not suggesting I'm going to go in here and copy them, but I am suggesting I would go in here and at least look for inspiration. You can see here they have some stuff on coffee mugs and prints. I'm talking about selling a blueprint like this as an SVG file. First of all, the price point would be way lower, $2, maybe $3. And then some savvy person out there can simply just go to the local Staples store and get this printed for their kid's room. They don't need to worry about paying $30 plus shipping. So I always look on Etsy down here. It says selling fast and somebody's got it in their basket. I also will scroll down and I'll see what exactly people are buying and I'll ignore the trademarked items, but I'll take a look at if people are purchasing certain types of items. Here on Google, I just typed in blueprint SVG and I clicked the shopping button and I got back a whole bunch of results that all look very similar here. So I clicked on that and we can see here there's best blueprint SVG eight sales. So not a huge dominant seller yet, but this is a great idea. They've stumbled into or they've actively researched a niche that they go, huh, there seems to be a lot of demand for it, but not a lot of supply. So this is something I would certainly take a good hard look at. This is a great idea for kids rooms or for man caves. You've got uh, vehicles and then you put it on a blueprint background. And if you're watching this video and you're screaming into the iPad right now, but I don't know how to make blueprint art. Well, there's a video I've got right here on Crafty Stacks. It's make blueprint art. It's pretty easy. This is a Photoshop tutorial. I've also got an affinity photo tutorial coming out shortly as well. So check the channel. I've got tutorials here on how to make blueprint art. It's really fun and it's actually quite easy. The next idea for SVG files and digital files is birthday related. So there's two really little mini options here inside of it. The first one would just be having these sort of things where you mentioned the, the year of the birth. So this is vintage 1971 limited edition. I'm just going to pop open this store. This is JA Craft Studio. And when you go into JA Craft Studio, they got a great looking store, 13,000 sales. They've got a whole bunch of really nice templates. And these are all really nice price points. They're $3.86, maybe $3, $4, that kind of idea. And you can see here, they've just scaled these through. It's the exact same template. They've just changed the year, 1946, 1966, 1986, and so on. Here's another idea is instead of birthday SVG, 
You can do birthday invitation SVG. Now you're going to see some things in here like cordial, for example, and template. These are like editable invitations. Again, I would strongly caution you to stay away from anything trademarked. Tom and Jerry's trademarked. Lego is trademarked. I wouldn't worry about that stuff at all. But here's a great one here. This one says invitation SVG birthday pocket. This is from Fine Cutting Templates and it's $6.65, which for a digital file seems like it's a little on the high side. However, when we take a look at it, it's stunningly beautiful. They've got great looking thumbnails. This is what's known as a Cricut machine or a digital cutting machine. And so this is a digital download. And what I love about this is as you scroll down, you can see people have actually put in reviews of this and it says here Cricut Explore Air 2. So if you own a Cricut machine, selling digital files is awesome because you can actually create the physical product and put it in your thumbnail. I think this looks awesome. And the price points on these are pretty good too. This is a nice intricate file, $6.65. This is a good looking store too, over 6,000 sales. Not of this one design of course, but overall they seem to be doing a pretty good business. A really popular niche and I think a really underserviced niche, so ding, 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 we have a digital design massive opportunity here, is House Rules SVG. This is only 459 results when I type in House Rules SVG. And as you can see, there's House Rules, Family Rules, Camping Rules, and you can really let your imagination run wild. You could have Laundry Rules, you could have you know, Dad Rules, Mom Rules, Grandpa Rules, Kitchen Rules, you can just scroll through and you can see, you know, farmhouse rules. Basically, you're looking at chalk, you're looking at white on black, black on white, then you're looking at a lot of hearts, arrows, that sort of thing. So here's one that just says family rules. In this house is vertical, and then we've got all the horizontal font here. So you can just take a look at these and kind of let your imagination run wild. The nice thing about this is it's only text. So if you can get a couple fonts downloaded, put a chalkboard background on there, and then basically just slap in a bunch of different fonts, you can really make yourself a nice little template business. Now, these are pretty detailed. However, um, you know, they've got a border and everything. But the nice thing is, is if you create it once, then you can put in multiple colors. So you could sell one bundle, and you could have a black, a white, and a blue, for example. And so you could go through and have different ones here. In this house, we have prayer, you sleep on it, make it up, you know, if it winds, feed it, that sort of thing. Camping is really good. So you can have little silhouettes in here. These are really, they're not technically complicated, although they are time consuming, but you could sell quite a few of these. And again, I encourage you to go into the Etsy store, take a look at the store, see if they've got sales. And then as you scroll down, you can see if people are actually buying these types of items. And as you can see here, they are. Okay, the next niche idea that I really like are sports SVG. So we're talking football SVG, baseball SVG, hockey SVG. I'm from Canada, so I have to say hockey. So here's an example, and before I jump in, I want to point out what not to do. These ones here that say NFL logos, I strongly, strongly recommend do not pursue this. You will get your account banned at some point. You cannot sell, legally sell, on Etsy, trademarked design. So please, I'm begging you, stay away from stuff like that. So what does that leave us? We'll take a look at this one. Half football, half player SVG. All they've done is they've taken an SVG of a football, slapped it in half, taken an SVG of a player, sliced it in half, and then they're going to put your text right in here. So if the kid's name is Braden or Jaden or Bobby or Steve, I don't know, whatever their name is. And of course, I don't want to be sexist. Maybe it's Jane or it's Kim. It doesn't matter. You can put your name in here and then sell this as a digital file. So the idea is you could sell it just as a blank digital file or you could offer customization as well. So here's the example of what it would look like. So we can see here, this is from Like Hen Up, 7,400 sales, $3.90. And you can see there, they've got a really nice mock-up as well. So for, it could be for a kid, it could even be the name of a town or a school, that kind of thing. We've also got hockey. And so here's a hockey helmet, hockey sticks. You'll notice there's no logos. It's just this. This is what they sell. And you can see here it says letters for the name are not included. But there's an example of what you could put in there. So you can make, you know, again, when I see that somebody's not 
offering something, especially if I'm a new store, I go, aha, maybe I will offer the customization. So send me your kid's name, I'll slap it into the design, I'll save it as an SVG bundle and I'll send it back to you. That's an idea. Here's field hockey. Again, it's just sticks and pucks. These are basically public domain images. And then here's another one, hockey. I really like this one. The player's name and the player's number is on the back and they've got a whole bunch of different options here on how it could look a few different mock-ups. I love that. Okay, the last niche I wanna talk about in this video are t-shirt SVG files. And I really wanna spend a couple minutes just talking about what you should not do in my opinion. So I've typed into Etsy and this is the wrong way to do it, t-shirt SVG. You're gonna get back 261,000 results and immediately your heart will sink. You'll look for the nearest tallest building to jump off of and you'll say, what's the point in doing anything and getting out of bed in the morning because Etsy is stacked against me. So don't do this. Instead, what I would suggest you do is niche down. So pick something that means something to you. So I'll just use me as an example. I really like cats. So I've typed into Etsy funny cat SVG because I'm going to use it for a t-shirt eventually or a coffee mug or whatever. So here's only 6,000 results. Now I know that's still a lot of results, but we could niche down even more. We could do black cats. We could do tabby cats. People who like cats really like cats. So here's just an example as I scroll down. I'm just gonna pick a couple here at random. Here's one that says, don't worry, I'm from tech support. That's funny. You can see here, nice thumbnail. They've got different files and they've got $3.18. This is Blue Turtle 9055. So here's the actual design. I like this a lot. And the reason is because it can be intimidating when you see a shop on Etsy that has 300,000 sales, 400,000 sales. So here they've got a 1,000 sales. That's very reasonable. So did this design sell? Well, I scroll on down and I can see, yes, it did. I love this picture. It's literally my life. Notice how niche this is. It's a black cat on a laptop talking about tech support. So the intuition, and this is wrong, the intuition is to go to t-shirt SVG and just start looking through here. That's way too vague. Go to something that means something to you. If you have a black cat and you're from tech support, this will be a, the world's greatest t-shirt. That's how you make sales is niching down. Here's another one right next to it. I personally have a black cat who's an absolute maniac. So I laughed out loud when I saw this design, Funny Cat SVG, because that looks like my little serial killer cat. So when I pop this open, we can see this is Ser Yoja, 21 sales. Okay, they're just getting going and that's great. For $1.33, I could stick this on a t-shirt or a coffee mug. So here we can see this was sold. So that's awesome. So as I scroll down, I can see they've made a few sales. They've made 21 sales. They've got three shop reviews. There's evidence there that somebody purchased it and they like it. So this is something that you could draw yourself with an Apple pencil. You could vectorize a picture of your cat or dog. You could make something very niche and that is what will resonate with customers. Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful. I'm just gonna leave this picture up because it's so hilarious. And again, if you like this video, please do like, please do subscribe. And here's the first video, the first five niche ideas. And so you can keep it on going and keep on getting ideas, brainstorm. I believe in you. You can make sales on Etsy. Here's evidence that it can happen. Thanks a lot, everybody. Take care.